A patient today asked about the difference between different types of medications used to treat ADHD that fell within the um, stimulant category. So we're talking about some of the medications used in ADHD in adults that do have abuse potential that can cause a physiological dependence and may not be the best options for everyone with ADHD. With that being said, um, ADHD medications that fall in this category typically are either amphetamine salts, so made up of um, amphetamine, dextroamphetamine, or a combination of those, or methylphenidates. An example of an amphetamine salt would be Adderall or Vyvanse, and an example of a methylphenidate medication would be Ritalin or long-acting Ritalin or Concerta. So in general, um, all these medications increase availability of norepinephrine and dopamine, um, and they also increase the release of norepinephrine and dopamine into the um, space between your neurons and your central nervous system, which can result in improved focus and decreased hyperactivity. Um, there's no general rule where for um, every patient there's going to be the same response in terms of one medication may work better for than another. So everyone's different here. But I would say that clinically, in, in my experience, I've found that individuals who have um, more difficulty with hyperactivity um, may do a little bit better with your amphetamine salt medications um, and your amphetamines and your dextroamphetamines but many individuals whose primary difficulty is really just difficulty with focus, um, their methylphenidates may actually be um, really great medications, really helpful medications. Um, your methylphenidate medications like Ritalin and Concerta, um, clinically, they tend, or I believe that they have less side effects. Your amphetamines and amphetamine salts, um, I found that patients will be more likely to say that they feel really jittery or anxious, or they might say, I feel kind of strung out when I take this medication, or I have insomnia, um, or those kinds of, of side effects. But they can certainly happen with both um, your uh, amphetamine salts and your amphetamines, and also with your methylphenidates. If someone is thinking about utilizing one of these medications to treat their ADHD, it's incredibly important that they talk to a medical professional, because as mentioned, they're prescribed medications, and they have quite a bit of abuse potential. They can have a quite a bit of abuse potential. And your amphetamine salts are actually some of your uh, most uh, highly abused medications that are prescribed by physicians. So it is, very care it is very important that you are under the direct supervision of a provider and that you're using it for the purpose that they were intended. And if you are starting to feel like you like the medication too much, or want to take more medication for reasons beyond what they're FDA approved for, that you talk to your provider and stop the medication and change to something maybe that's not controlled. If you believe this video pertains to you in any way, please be sure to speak directly with a medical professional. These videos are meant to be informative only and not medical advice for anyone out there.